when the Obi-Wan Kenobi series was announced, when we found out that Darth Vader would be coming back, that he and Obi-Wan would be having not one, but two rematches, we knew what this would be. We knew that it was going to play fast and loose with continuity in order to jangle some keys in front of you. You knew that it was probably going to tear down the legacy of some of these characters that people care about so much. And now with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series finale finally in the bag, we can safely say, yes, this is everything we thought it would be. But at the same time, I do have to admit that I was wrong about something. I was wrong about how many people would dislike this. I figured, you know what, a lot of people are just going to fall for the jangling keys. I figured 80, 90% of people were just going to lap it up and love it because it's Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. But no, the split in the Star Wars fan base is something that not even I expected. The backlash to the Obi-Wan Kenobi series has been something to behold. And of course, it's resulted in Disney Star Wars using the same playbook, going after fans to preemptively attack them and call them racist if they don't like this series. We saw that with the character of Reva, and Reva 100% is exactly what we predicted. When we heard that Reva would be included, when we heard a little bit about her backstory, you knew that she was going to be a major focal point of this series. At the end of the day, Reva is the only one who can redeem herself and stop herself from killing Luke Skywalker. What are they going to do with this character? How did she survive? Yet another person who has survived a lightsaber to the stomach. But yes, Reva's going to go on and do incredible things. And at the very least, they could have had it be some impassioned speech from Obi-Wan, some inspiration from Obi-Wan Kenobi to truly redeem Reva. But that's not what it was. Reva is the only one that is capable of redeeming herself, which we witness in this finale, where she decides that she's not going to kill Luke Skywalker because Obi-Wan is off doing something else. Obi-Wan was not able to protect Luke Skywalker, but luckily Reva's just such a good person that she can't go through with it at the end of the day. And if Disney Star Wars had decided to make a Reva show before this, instead of making Reva such an important part of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, I don't think there would be near the backlash from fans. There might not be as many people tuning in because they didn't tune in to see the Reva show, but that's why she was in this show because they knew if they had just made a show about her called Reva or whatever you want to call it, no one would have tuned in to watch. So they had to launch it this way. That's how Disney Star Wars thinks they have no confidence in their original characters. That's why you see them continue to tear down these original characters in order to prop others up. And of course, we had the final showdown. Maybe, maybe they make a season two of Obi-Wan. Maybe there's going to be another fight between him and Darth Vader. Why not? Why not at this point? You can excuse away anything and everything at this point for Disney Star Wars. That seems to be the way they're going about it. But the Obi-Wan Vader fight ends effectively the same exact way it ended in Revenge of the Sith with Obi-Wan completely and utterly destroying Darth Vader, yet refusing to land the final blow. And it's not because Obi-Wan thinks, oh, there's still good in him, maybe something like that. No, he effectively admits there's nothing left of the friend that I knew in there. And they even had a sequence uh, that was ripped straight off from Rebels. Gene Theory reminds everyone, what won't they rip off right here from Rebels? Everyone remembers this Part where you get to see half of Darth Vader's face come off and you see part of his eye. Well, what did they do in this series? They did the exact same thing. You can see half of the face got cut off by Obi-Wan's lightsaber. So you can see, you know, Anakin, you see Hayden Christensen underneath the armor, underneath Darth Vader's helmet. Exactly the same as this shot, just on the other side. That's what they did in this battle between them. But this entire series, people can try to excuse away as much as they want. It is a walking, talking contradiction in canon. You have Obi-Wan Kenobi, who now has developed this intense relationship with Leia, with a 10-year-old Leia. Nine years down the road, you know, Leia is going to go to Tatooine. She's going to try to get the Death Star plans to Obi-Wan Kenobi. All of this stuff happens. We've said there's no way you can make them that close, yet have Leia's reaction, her message to Obi-Wan, be what it was. Also, I got reminded today... Obi-Wan Kenobi, when he dies, you know, Luke is obviously very bummed out. Clearly, Leia knew Obi-Wan much better than Luke did. Leia's not grieving the same way that Luke Skywalker is. Leia must be one cold-hearted bitch because she had has developed this friendship, this relationship with Obi-Wan Kenobi throughout this series, which doesn't make sense with what we saw in Episode 4 in A New Hope in the original Star Wars movie. That's one of the reasons why this never should have happened. This series never should have happened. And of course, they have Qui-Gon Jinn show up at the end, full-form Qui-Gon Jinn, 
even though he told Yoda himself that he can't appear fully in form. I don't know how they justify that, but again, it doesn't matter. They don't care if they break continuity. That is this show. That is Disney Star Wars. But in my mind, the most important part about this series is that it's reminded so many people of what Disney Star Wars really is about. The fact that they're out there attacking people, calling them racist, calling them bigots if they don't like this series. The Star Wars Twitter account out there trying intentionally to ratio people and dogpile people if they don't agree with the route that they're taking Star Wars. Shitting on fans once again. That's what Disney Star Wars is really all about. It's what they have been about. And I think the backlash to this series will be the most lasting thing in people's minds. And remind people that if you thought you should have hope for this franchise going forward, you shouldn't. Lucasfilm has far more problems than just the person at the top in Kathleen Kennedy. When you look at the way this series was shot and edited and executed, the storyline, the acting, so many problems with this. Some people will forever try to excuse it away because they like the jangling keys. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that rejected what Disney Star Wars tried to do with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.